drain cleared and it was time to garden party. Some of Perth's best known faces made the invite list of 1800 from politics to business leaders, legal circles, news presenters and Olympic gold medalists. It'd be nice to see the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh, that'd be awesome. Hoping to get up close and personal with her at all? Oh, I'd be nice to have a chat, yeah, for sure. The most famous face of all arrived half an hour in to a guard of honour from head students of 77 WA schools. Pretty crazy, yeah, it's been a great opportunity. And the Premier wanted to show off WA's best. The lamb in the canapes from Narragin, goat's cheese from Albany, the asparagus from Bickley Valley, the wine and beer is local too. I'm so proud, I'm sure everyone here is so proud that Perth is the host city. Whopper graduate and star of Wicked, Lucy Durack, got to sing to the Queen. Regardless of whether you're a Republican, as I am, or a monarchist, I think uh, we all appreciate the fact that the Queen has been a very stable influence in our constitution for many years. The police commissioner doesn't wait for too many people. This time, he had no choice. You don't very often get a chance to see the Queen. I don't know if I will, though. There's about 1,800 people in this line, so we'll see how we go. Security, a big theme this week, was again visible from nearby rooftops. The two-hour party finished a few moments ago. The Queen seemed to enjoy herself. She stayed longer than officials had planned. We've lost count of the number of bows and curtsies, but not everyone was lucky enough to say hello. The Queen stopping at a select few. Treasurer Christian Porter scored a royal audience. So too Australia's richest woman, Gina Reinhardt. She's gorgeous, I love her, I fell in, totally love her. I fell in love with Philip. And then the party was over. Fantastic, absolutely wonderful. Blake Johnson, 70s.